Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I just had to record this real quick because I'm, I'm getting I'm getting sick of this shit, bro. I'm, I'm getting sick of it. Excuse my cursing. Um, this is my local CVS by my house, and uh, I live in a decent neighborhood, man. You know, I don't live downtown Las Vegas or you know on the east side of Las Vegas or on that. I live in a I live in a decent neighborhood. You know what I mean? Not not no rich neighborhood, but a decent one. And um, I've seen a lot of this on other parts of uh, Vegas um, that I frequent and stuff like that. But it's the first time I've ever seen this one. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I do a lot of door dashing. And this CVS that's close to me um, has an ATM in here that I, I can get cash out when I need uh, from my door dash card without any fees, right? Long story short, I just walk in there. And I see this young lady, skinny girl, she works in there, little small skinny girl, um, was telling the guy, you, you forgot to scan this. You know, did you, did you scan this? And then the guy dropped some stuff. And you could tell he's kind of like a homeless dude or whatever. And uh, he walked out with a bunch of stuff and he dropped an ice cream and he picked the ice cream up. And I looked at it, I go, you want me to stop him? Because I already knew the answer. She said, no, we can't. And as I proceeded to get the cash out of the ATM, I said, uh, why you can't stop him? Now I already knew the answer. I just wanted to hear it. And she basically said, I'll lose my job if I stop him. And uh, these companies, and I've already seen some CVS's um, close around the country. And this is, you know, this is my local CVS, man. I, I don't want it to close. You know what I mean? And this, this is why I tell you guys, it's very important to pay attention to politics because depending on who you have as your elected officials or in, the, in office or whatever, it, it really it really matters, man. You know what I mean? And even though Nevada is pretty uh, free state or whatever, um, there's some woke stuff going on around here. It's not completely. Uh... <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm getting sick and tired of this shit, man. I, I, I'm sick of it. It ain't just on the local level. Um, you know, we had a crazy uh, weekend in Congress, obviously, with the with the uh, with the shutdown looming over us. And Kevin McCarthy comes out here like he's a hero, and he's acting like uh, he's the reason there wasn't a shutdown. Kevin McCarthy's a snake. I told you this a long time ago, and I know you guys, a lot of you guys, don't give a shit about this, but hear me out real quick. There's a reason I'm saying this, right? Kevin McCarthy is a wolf in sheep's clothing, ladies and gentlemen. And Matt Gates, I'm with him 100%, right? I am with him 100%. I think they're gonna fry Matt Gates, and I'll get into that in a second. Um, so anyways, if you don't know anything that's going on, basically it's like this, right? If, if there is a shutdown uh, for a long period of time, it's gonna be messed up. I think we should have a, a, a little shutdown. Uh, to be honest, to get everything we need and not get the money for Ukraine. But you best believe uh, Ukraine is going to get their money and Kevin McCarthy is going to pass that because Kevin McCarthy has like four faces. He acts like he's a freedom first um, Republican and he works with the Freedom Caucus. Then he works with the other Republicans and those rhinos. Then he works with the Democrats and then he works with Joe Biden. This guy's a jack of all trades, man. And Matt Gates, and rightfully so, held out for 15 rounds of, uh, of voting in January when it was time to uh, vote for the House Speaker because he knew what Kevin McCarthy was. So once he got the uh, a lot of things that he, he promised to get or promised to do from Kevin McCarthy, he just sat out on the vote and he didn't vote yes or no, which gave him enough votes. Because if he say no, you know, whatever, he didn't vote and then he got the Speaker of the House. He got the gavel. And every once in a while, Kevin McCarthy will make you make you think that he's doing something good, but he, he's not doing anything good. And again, it's not against it's not about Republicans and Democrats. It's about good versus evil establishment versus anti-establishment. And obviously, you know what side Kevin McCarthy's on. And I love the fact that Matt Gates, because if I was a politician, I'd be doing the same exact thing as Matt Gates. You got to call these people out on their bullshit. You know what I mean? You got these liberal cities just absolutely doing whatever the hell they want and everything's getting shut down. People are losing their businesses. People are losing their homes because their value is going down. Inflation's crazy. 
It's absolutely insane, man. It's insane. Now, I know we got to, you know, worry about ourselves and stuff. And I do do that. You know what I mean? I do worry about my house and I don't worry about anybody saving me in the, in the political aspect. But there are things that affect me that the politicians pass laws with. You know what I mean? And if we had a tougher on crime situation, that one, that, that incident just, it just wouldn't have happened. You know what I mean? And again, I, I am so sick and tired of this. And I could be going on and on and on about stuff. But the reason I'm making this video is simple. You got to see when the storm is coming. Now, this is not a doom and gloom video. Uh, this is just me trying to be real and me trying to get you to know, like, okay. Because a lot of, a lot of again, a lot of silver stackers, precious metal stackers, Bitcoin stackers, they just don't care about, about politicians or politics. Oh, I don't, get, I don't care about that. And of course, until... A politician says something good about your investment then all of a sudden you care about it which is hypocritical to me you should always care about politics again they're not here to save you but you should definitely not be an ostrich and put your put your head in the sand and act like you don't care and nothing's going to happen it doesn't affect you it does affect you ladies and gentlemen if you got a soft on crime city or if you lived in a soft on crime city that affects you okay if you have a local store or a business by you and they stop um you know, being open or whatever because of the soft on crime thing, then that affects you. There's a lot of things that affect you that the politicians have a lot of control over. I wish it wasn't that way, but that's the world we live in. So what do you need to do? Um, again, I don't, I don't want it to rain outside, but I'm being prepared when it does rain, right? Get your raincoat, get your umbrella, whatever you got to get. I'm not saying the dollar is going to collapse or the economy is going to collapse or anything like that, but again, I believe 2024 is going to be not a good year uh, for this country, no matter who wins the election or whatever happens. Um, it's going to be a lot of chaos, man. And people don't realize what they need until they don't have it and they need it, right? You have to get every single thing that you need now before you can't get it and it's not available when you need it. That's so important, man. You know what I mean? I know everybody talks about preps and all that other stuff. It's it's very important, man. Because I got a funny feeling, if I had to guess, I believe we're in a 19 or a 1776 moment. Those people back then didn't realize they were in a quote unquote civil war. It took 20 years to do that stuff, man. You know what I mean? Just look it up, man. Look it up. They're not gonna say, oh yeah, we're in a civil war. And I'm not talking about the actual war. I'm talking about the stuff leading up to that, right? I mean, look at all the riots that we got going on. Look at all the lefties versus the righties you know the victimhood uh black people that claim to be victims you got the white people that uh stick up for the black people that are victims you know i can't stand that and i'll i'll make a separate video about that but anyways i just had to get my little rant off my chest this is going to be a crazy week this week in congress and i applaud matt gates for what he's doing because he's getting ready to get roasted see Kevin McCarthy is the biggest snake in, in, in Congress. The reason why is because he's sending his minions after Matt Gates. Jamal Bowman pulled the, the fire alarm, and you guys heard about that. And I'm going to give you my thoughts on that. He absolutely did that shit on purpose. Of course he fucking did. I don't, do I even need to tell you all that? Here's what should happen to him. He should get whatever the full extent of the law is, he should get that plus more. And the reason why is because there's a couple different things that he would have did versus a regular civilian. First of all, he's in the middle of a uh, a, a, a last minute vote for the um, for the government shutdown. That's number one. Number two, <clears throat> he is a member of of Congress. He's one of one of 435 House of Representatives, and he has a big constituent base. And for him to go in there and do that, um, and him being a principal, um, he should get. Uh, what, what I would do is, first of all, he can't be a congressman anymore, number one. Number two, he should do a heavy, pay a heavy fine. And number three, he should do some jail time, if that's part of the law. But that's what I would give him, uh, again, if that's part of the law. Uh, but Kevin McCarthy won't give him that. He's too busy going behind everybody's back and sending his minions after Matt Gates because, of, And rightfully so, what Kevin McCarthy's doing, he's trying to protect himself from Matt Gates. It's evil what he's doing. You know, because everybody has self-preservation, but he knows that Matt Gates is coming for his ass. He knows that. But instead of trying to get Bowman, he's going after Gates. Anyways, um, 
I'll be making more videos here soon about this kind of stuff and Bitcoin and silver and all this stuff, but I had to get that shit off my chest. Uh, when you when you see stuff like that at a store, uh, that's just a prerequisite of getting shut down. And the girl, the way she was acting, because, you know, I don't come here that much, but you can tell this happens a lot. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, if your company's telling you we're going to fire you if you do something about <laughs> or touch somebody that's th a thief, you know, because I said, why don't you call the police? I said, by the time the police get here, it won't be nothing. And if they catch him, he'll only go to jail for a certain amount because they know anything under a uh, thousand bucks is nothing. And they'll get right out. You're incentivizing the bad guys. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. All right. I love each and every one of you and I'll talk to you soon. Peace and love, guys.